Experts urging neighbors not to let their guard down for wild animals. A Union County couple continuing to recover tonight after being attacked by a rabid fox in broad daylight. It's a story we first brought you earlier this week and it has some viewers wondering if it's normal to see a fox during the day. As WCNC Charlotte's Kaylin Hagwood reports, it's more common than you think. A Wingate couple had a big scare this month when a rabid fox attacked them at their home in broad daylight. Went after me. You know, he got me on the back of the leg, uh, got me on my arm. I could not get it off of me. I just couldn't. Eventually, they were able to put it down after multiple gunshots and the help of a neighbor. Something we don't want to go through again, I can tell you that. The whole ordeal raising the question, how common is it to see a fox in the daytime? While foxes are primarily nocturnal or active at night, wildlife biologist David Crow says don't be surprised if you see them during the day. Normally someone would say if you see a fox in the daytime, be concerned. However, this time of year, mom and dad fox are cooperatively feeding two to four pups that are almost adult size right now, so they're hunting day and night. According to the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, foxes are shy and generally non-aggressive animals. They can hide in shrubs and crawl spaces and may be attracted to pet food or garbage. When it comes to keeping them away, Crow says it's important to keep those wood and brush piles removed, and if you see one... Walk calmly and directly back indoors. Looks rabid, it's acting funny, drunk, stumbly. Call animal control. As for the Rollins family, who are still recovering, they shared this advice. Don't think a little eight pound, nine pound fox can't put a hurting on you because they can. Kaylin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte.